All right, let's talk about disc problems, um, disc herniations specifically. So I have my friend, the model here. And so that nice little red bulge you see right there, that is indicating a herniation. So common terminology that is kind of thrown around out there is a slipped disc. Technically, the disc can't slip. Um, what happens is the disc is that space between the bones. And at first it expands or bulges, kind of like a water balloon when it's getting compressed, it expands. That's basically what we see with the disc. Um, the disc is made of like rings. And so if those rings crack or fail in the inside of the disc, which is like kind of like a gel thick kind of make matrix, if that middle starts pushing through those rings or the walls, that is a herniation. Um, so there's different degrees. You can have a mild, moderate, severe herniation. They don't all mean that that's surgical. Um, a lot of disc problems can heal. What is causing it? Abnormal stress or pressure on that disc. So it could be from an accident or a trauma, but often it's not. Often it's from a significant misalignment of the spine that's putting specific pressure on that disc over a long period of time, and that disc bulges to a point that then it fails, and then that's a herniation. So what's one of the things that we can definitely do to help that? Well, identify where is this happening? So is it something that's going on in the neck or the back? I mean, that is important, but getting you into proper alignment. So one of the most important things you can do with any disc problem is making sure your, your spine is in alignment and things are balanced and level because that will balance the pressure on the disc and allow that to heal. Now, at times it may require surgery, but often it does not. So the first step is to get it checked, get it evaluated. Again, often these things can heal on their own, with support and guidance, um, but getting identified as far as what's going on and if you're out of alignment is very, very important. Um, don't ignore a disc problem. It is something that you should do something about and know that they definitely can improve with proper treatment and proper healing.